Hey everybody, this is Alchemist, and this is once again Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt. This time we're going to be doing Treasure Trading Station, uh, which will lead us into the middle of the Klingon arc. Let's see, we've got Graviton Deflector Array, Tachyon Deflector Array, Deflector Array, and Positron Deflector Array, none of which I will care about. Let's see, 58 skill points, 20 bridge officer points, but my rewards are reduced, so that might not be the original figures. Figures. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Starfleet has received a communication from a servant of one of the Klingon great noble houses. She claims to have vital information about the Klingons' war plans, and she is willing to exchange that information for relocation to a planet out of the Empire's grasp. Go to the trading station in orbit of a Regulus II and find Marta. She'll be waiting for you there. That area is a hotbed of illicit activity, Vice Admiral, so be on the lookout for smugglers. So yeah, we're going to a Regulus to uh, pick up a Klingon defle deflector. These have tripped me up now. We're going to the Irregular system to pick up a Klingon defector, who may have valuable war intelligence. Oh, Treasure Trading Station is my main. That's nice. Let's make sure of it, though, because I've got a bunch of missions that I was planning on doing. Uh, including playing through the entirety of the Romulan arc just to see what's going on. Let's see, pass and perfect. Drop that. That's not happening yet. Let's see. Sort of training station. And I've got. I've. I'm ready. Apparently, I'm already ready. I've got my shotgun out. So Captain DP is ready for this. Let's go. Let's get this Klingon defle deflector. I almost said it again. What's wrong with me? Let's get this Klingon defector. Let's save some lives. No. I would not. So the foundry, while well, we transit, the foundry is once again down at the time of this recording. What is today? It's uh, Friday the 29th, and the foundry is again down. Ugh. Uh, they've also recently released a whole crap ton of images of the new Enterprise, and I'll probably put those in the description. I'll probably talk about those in a bit. Um, they already talked about them fairly extensively on Stoked, though. So... Uh, I forget what the episode's called. It, it was 91, isn't it? That's the episode number? Episode 91? Is the music playing? Should be. Can't quite hear it. But yeah, I believe it was episode 91 of Stoked, where they sh uh, showed a whole ton of pictures of the new Enterprise, which I think looks really good. I I don't have nearly as much of a problem with the new Enterprise as a few people do, mainly because I've seen plenty of ships... I've seen an Enterprise F designed with that twin neck before. Um, there it is. There's the music. A lot of fan ships have that twin neck. Uh, the Soul Wolf, for example, had that twin neck. I know I designed a ship for uh, Starfleet Command that had a ha that had a twin neck that was very similar. So uh, that's not a new design feature. That's been on an that's been on a conjectural version of the Enterprise F before, uh, and that design was from Atom. Atom. I hope I'm getting his name right. Azel Atom. So uh, it's not the first time I've seen a design like that before. And, uh, so I'm not exactly as against it as many people are. Because I remember playing through... I remember playing Starfleet Command 3 with that a lot. I remember playing Bridge Commander with the Soul Wolf a lot. So, that's not particularly a, uh, a new... Des a new look for a starship to me. And it's not particularly one that I am... that I am dead set against. And, um... Although the uh, the Soul Wolf Enterprise F was kind of displaced by the Sentry that was designed by DJ Curtis, and uh, you could probably YouTube that this DJ Curtis Sentry class, and you'll see what I mean. 
A lot of people objected to the Enterprise F. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but a lot of people objected to it looking very Sovereign-like, and in which case you should probably go look at the Sentry, because that's even more so. So, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like this design. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, there's my two cents. And, uh, let's see, Irregulus is five light years away, so let's go ahead and go get there. So yeah, there's still being there's still a lot of trouble in getting the Vesta class in game. But if they do, I hope they give it a permanent quantum slipstream drive, not this stuff that cools down every so often. Because that's what yeah, that's the whole thing about that class in the novels, is that it's a quantum slipstream starship. It's the Federation's first dedicated slipstream ship. Let's go ahead and go to Zone Chat, um, or not, depending on <laughs> whether anybody is talking. So. But yeah, a regular system. The Irregulus system has long been a haven for tourists and pleasure seekers. The night spots and clubs of Irregulus 2 have been a popular shore leave destination since the 23rd century, and the orbiting treasure trading station off offers entertainment for those with more exotic tastes. It's kind of like the non Wrigley's pre Pleasure Planet. Wrigley's Pleasure Planet, this is the 24th by this point in time, is essentially like a massive... Imagine a carnival on a planetary scale. There you go. Wrigley's Pleasure Planet. Um, haven't seen it in game yet. Would kind of be nice. It'd be a nice place. It'd be. It's sort of like the golden saucer of the Trek universe. Captain DP, we have arrived in orbit around Regulus 2. There have been dozens of reports of smugglers using this system as a trading point. I have performed a sensor sweep of the area, and I am picking up signs of illegal weapons and contraband in several of the ships. It is Starfleet's duty to confiscate any smuggled cargo within Federation space. We should perform closer scans of the local trade freighters and dispose of any illegal goods. Alrighty. And you have these things, which are in some of the, uh... Which you don't see very often, but these things are in the promotional material for Star Trek Online a lot. So, you have a bunch of freighters flying around. Basically, just scan them and they'll all attack you. All of them will. Of course, the logic of a freighter attacking a Galaxy-class starship has to be questioned. Autonomous re uh, Regeneration Sequencer. Okay, that's your ass dead. And that is the uh, trading station. And uh, I'm actually I'm actually full. I'm full engines right now. It's not making much of a difference, admittedly. Uh, I usually go full engines and least weapon power as possible whenever I'm playing with somebody who's really uh, below my level, uh, so that I'm not making everything instantly pop. Because you know it's not fun. It's when somebody high level shows up in your team and all of a sudden he's making all the enemies pop and you're never getting a hit in. It's not fun. So I like to um, put everything into engines and uh, sometimes take off the uh, beam enhancement consoles that I have. Because I, um, I have a plus beam weapons console and I have a plus phaser console, which really gives my beam weapons a lot of punch. 
And I usually take those off just to sort of even things out so I'm not killing everyone instantly. Because I'm, I'm not... I have a bunch of crap ships, but I'm not going to take them constantly. I'm not going to be constantly switching to them. I like my galaxy. I like my lovely lady here. Captain, sensors show that we have secured all contraband in the area. Transport coordinates are set for the treasure trading station. All right. Standard away team, or the hazard team. No, I'm not. I'm still not tired of calling it that. Captain, we may be able to elicit information about Marta's whereabouts from the owner of the local drinking establishment. Speak to Chorus. How bad is it when the place is smoking? Uh, I guess they don't pay the wait staff much here. So I don't believe they've actually fitted the new doors in this place. I believe it's all still, like, blank doors that you interact with. My good friends, I am Karis, the proprietor of this humble station. I'll be your guide to the pleasures of the mind, the soul, and, of course, pleasures of the body. We're running a special today. Buy two hours of Holosuite time and get a free drink. Top shelf excluded, of course. Or a free round of electronic tongo. You won't find a better deal on this side of the neutral zone. Hollow Suites 2 and 3 are currently open, and I'd be happy to show you the wide range of programs we have available. You're looking for Marta? Well, 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 now that's valuable information. And valuable information always comes at a price. Something like 10 bars of gold pressed latinum, perhaps? Sir, our reports indicate that this station is overdue for its Federation-mandated safety inspection. Perhaps if we help Carr spot any punishable infractions, he'll feel generous enough to tell us where Marta might be. I'd better come with you, Vi Vice Admiral. You might break something. Mice Admiral. That's right. He insults me when I'm here to make the safety inspection. Smuggled trilithium! Smuggled? No, I'm sure that they have a permit for that. Coolant piping. You are in a Starfleet uniform! A Starfleet freighter. Good day, good sir. So this is something that's sort of right out of DS9, is the way uh, Quark would treat Odo. Or, I'm sorry, I had that backwards. The way Odo would treat Quark. Uh, you can also... No, I can't do that yet. You'll see what I mean. There's a Mirror Universe guy right here. You have a goatee and a Mirror Universe uniform and everything, and there's a 23rd century... Starship Captain. Huh? I guess old uniforms. You know, old uniforms, pe you know, people might just sort of throw them on, use them as the uniforms for their ships. I don't know. Maybe. So, basically, you have to find five infractions of people's safety. Waste removal piping. Oh, this better not be broken. It's leaking toxic substances! That's nothing a few self-stealing symbols won't fix. Self-sealing stem bolt. Video Tongo Machine. Video Tongo Machine uses an illegal probability matrix. You cheater, you've loaded the dice. That probability table is authorized by the Ferengi Gaming Commission. 
You're wearing a Starfleet uniform. Oh, but you're a smuggler. You're wearing... You're seeing... I, I'm seeing a lot of these old uniforms on NPCs, and it's just kind of weird. Can I start a bar brawl? If you do, if you do things right, you can actually start a bar brawl in this, and I think that's what takes you to the next area. Your freighter crew. Inspect Hollow Suite One. Inspect Hollow Suite Two. Hollow Suite is draining power from the life support system. First our electronic Tongo, now our Hollow Suites. What's next? Our Synthale? We don't need Starfleet to suck the fun out of everything. You know what? I don't like the angle of your deflector dish, and neither do my friends. Uh oh. I really hope that was on stun. Like, I don't know what my weapons are set to. Yeah, Synthale's next. Asorian Brainy is missing the Federation Trade Commission seal. No, no, that's just a rare vintage that predates the Trade Commission's inspection protocols. All right, enough, enough! How is a businessman supposed to make any profit with people like you around? You've cost me more in fines than the Klingons paid me to keep quiet. They're holding Marta in the cargo bay six. I hope their captain grinds you into rocake blood pie. Go ahead, ask your questions. You've already taken my money. What else do I have left? Oh god, text. What do you know about these Klingons? What do I know about any Klingons? They're loud, smelly, and mean. Their captain offered me four bars of latinum for the use of a cargo bay and a little discretion. Now he's probably going to find me and twist my legs into a bully and pretzel. I'm a legitimate businessman, damn it! What do you know about Marta? She's got fingers made for Umox but she's a little full of herself. I offered to give her a free hour in the Hollow Suites as my guest, and she turned me down flat. Go away, Avast. What do the Klingons want with Marta? I already know this, but I'm going to ask him anyways, because I just want to annoy the crap out of him. They paid me. I don't ask questions. Vice Admiral, I'm a firm believer in the 125th rule of acquisition. You can't make a deal if you're dead. What do you know about the smuggling activity in this system? What do you think? Smugglers? I don't see any smugglers. Everyone in my station is a legitimate trader, a pleasure seeker, or a bargain hunter. By the way, Vice Admiral, have you visited the gift shop yet? We're having a sale this week on authentic imitation Tholian silk. Exit. Alrighty. Let's go get Marta. Way? No, this way. No, this way. There's something here. Quadro Triticale. Uh, that is a reference to the trouble with tribbles, where Quadro Triticale was is a grain that is also a plot device. The Klingons in the Federation were feuding over a planet called Sherman's Planet, and basically whoever could develop the planet the most first got the planet. And the Federation was using Quadro Triticale to grow crops so they could develop the planet so that they could have the planet, and yeah. Hijinks ensue. Take Turbolift to Maintenance Corridor 3. Captain, sensors indicate that this deck has maintained significant structural damage and is subject to plasma leaks. It appears that the station has force fields intended to contain these plasma leaks. Someone has intentionally triggered several of the station's suppression fields. We will have to deactivate these systems to proceed, sir. Alrighty. Alrighty. 
I'm guessing we do it here in this room full of Klingons. Yeah. Deactivate force fields. 